Biological champions, I hope you are doing great. So yes, I hope the biology preparation is also going great. Yes, and I hope that I am helping you really well. If I am not, do let me know. And if you have any doubts in biology, my dear, dear children, please put it down in the comment section. I will be solving it for you. Now listen to me carefully. Okay, so this is this video is going to be about the exam hall strategy. Once you get into the exam hall, what is the thing that you have to take care of? Okay, so. You knowing things is something different. You putting it into action, into paper is something different. So I'm going to tell you how much time you have to give to part A, part B, part C and part D. How you should be approach, approaching about difficult questions. Uh, what are things that you should definitely avoid during the day of examination and all these things in detail. But this video is not going to be long so do not worry. I don't want to waste even a tiny bit of your time. So let me get into it. First thing, when is your exam? I hope everyone's exam is on 18th. Nobody is saying that I have exam on 19th ma'am. Well don't do this. I did this when I was in second standard. Okay, I was so small for that. Now over here, listen, what is the strategy for 10 o'clock to 10.15 a.m.? So 10 o'clock, you receive your question paper. 10.15, until 10.15, you will be just with your question paper, you and the question paper, and then at 10.15, you get the answer sheet. For five minutes, you will be given time to fill it, right? So there are certain things that you should definitely go through. What are those things? Otherwise, you would be like this, okay? Like Mr. Bean. So over here, first thing, 10 a.m. read the question paper for, for the first 10 minutes, okay? So read part A, B, C, D. Mark easy questions you can answer quickly, okay? Even if you not mark, please do not mark in the question paper. You're not allowed to write in the question paper, right? So please, in your head only, just realize, okay, these are the easy questions, I know it. So there are two good things about reading the question paper is that you might find difficult questions, but also easy questions that could boost up your confidence. So read all the questions properly. You have got enough time as of now. Then identify the difficult questions. Okay, now when it's a difficult question, what do you have to do? Oh my God, how will I solve it? No, it's not like that. Don't be panicky about it, but just understand that you might need some extra time for this. So understand that you might need extra time for this. So I do not have to waste too much time on part B or part C or these questions that I have marked as easy in my head. You get it? So be mentally prepared for giving time for difficult question. Now, 10, 10 a.m. you get the answer sheet my dear children 10 10 i said 10 15 before i'm so sorry 10 10 a.m you get the answer sheet you have five minutes to fill in all the necessary information make sure you are filling it properly it's not like biology exam paper is so tough i messed up somewhere don't do that please don't do that that will be additional tension for you so mentally plan which sections to tackle first obviously you have to start off with part a only but after that you can start off with part d also i would not recommend that i would recommend you to go according to the flow that is how the question paper is being planned so that you can complete within three hours that is get that is given to you my dear children works so 10 to 10 or 10 a.m you have the time to read the question paper and everything put your answer sheet write all the information properly over there the spot the difficult question understand that you need to put extra efforts into that now going ahead how much time to give to each part which are there so let's see part a there are 20 questions of one mark okay start from 10 15 end it at 10 40 25 minutes straight actually you just need to give one minute for each question but still one minute for each question that means 20 minutes but still i have given you five minutes extra time so write direct answers only there is no need for explanation direct answers means write a and write the option whole option please don't just write a and come over here okay a and the whole option whatever is the answer for example hybridization or whatever is there write the entire thing over there do not scratch it up do not do all these things okay if you're not sure about the answer what do you do it you leave the space and return to it later otherwise please use a pencil and write the answer okay later when you're sure of it you can rub it and write it with a pen but make sure you are not striking any answers up there so write direct answers there is no need for explanation of things and all okay uh, if at all the question is wrong you will get grace marks so there is no need for you to explain all these things okay do not waste your time in that now ensure the numbering is correct numbering is sometimes we get panicky we just mistake then we do mistakes in the numbering don't do that okay if unsure leave it and return later now part b you know two marker questions are there how many of them you have to attend five of them you have to attend so 10 40 to 11 10 that is 30 minutes i am giving you for part b 
30 minutes means 30 divided by how many questions? Basically, you have five questions. So almost you're getting six minutes for each question for a two mark question. Isn't that enough? Yes, it's very much enough. Read the question properly. Read the question properly, my dear children, and write your answers in two to three clear points, point wise. One, two, three. Okay, and underline the keywords. Very much important. If you're not underlining, you're not showcasing your answer. So write it in a neat manner. Give some space. It's okay. You will get an additional booklet at the end if you need. But have some space. Write it properly. That does not mean too much space. Okay, little space should be there in between all the things. 30 minutes, not going beyond that. So by 11.10, your part B should be, part A and part B should be completed. Part C, three marker question. Again, you have to attend five of them. I am giving you time until 11.10 to 11.50. That is almost 40 minutes. So 40 divided by 5 is what? 8 minutes you're getting. 8 minutes for 3 marker question. That is enough, my dear children. Now, in re 3 marker question, again, you have to write in points. Sometimes you might have to draw diagrams to explain your answer. So, please draw a neatly labeled diagram over there. They might not ask you in the question, but sometimes you might have to draw it for explanation, for supporting your answer. Please put it over there. Do not ex do not ex ex say explain in an extra manner. Please stick to what is asked. What is asked in the, what has been there in the NCRT and what is asked to you only that do not write whatever you know about the answer no need of it St stick to the points write in points use the diagrams wherever it is needed if you're drawing a diagram make sure you're drawing with a pencil you're labeling with the pencil itself if you want to label with a pen you can but do not make it hodgepodge over there okay okay if you get your answer wrong what do you do a direct cut one cut and then the next answer now you might be feeling that the five questions which are given over here or here you want to extra uh, you have to attend something extra leave some space for extra uh, for attempting extra okay leave some space for attempting extra that will be really good if you write it here itself some people they do it at the end so i wouldn't prefer that i would want you to write it over here so that the teacher knows what you're going through again whatever questions you are writing please make sure the question number is correct for example i wrote 15 and 17 but instead i wrote 15 and 16 because i am going in order please don't do that okay now part d that is the five marker questions you have in part d you have two sections again so in first section you have to attend four of them in second section you have to attend one of them so I have included all of them together. So five of them you have to do four plus one five. So from 11.50 to 12.50, one hour straight, one hour straight you are getting for what say, uh, that is uh, the this particular part. It's almost, I think, 12 minutes. Okay, 12 minutes for one particular question. 12 minutes for one particular question, that is completely fine. So you should be having structured answer when you are dealing with the five marker thing. First, start with the definition or the introduction that you have. Okay, then go ahead with the explanation. Then if you have any diagrams to support, put it in the diagrams. Last, put down the conclusion which is there. Have a structured answer, which is if it is asked one A, B and C, if there are sub parts of it, answer in sub parts properly again in points itself. Okay, now write in points and use diagrams, flowcharts, tables for better presentation. My dear children, if you are getting a difference between question anywhere, make sure you're writing in columns. Okay, very, very important. Don't write the difference between question like this. Write it in proper columns. Understood? Done? Chalo. Going ahead. Should we give time for revision, ma'am? So when did we end over here, my dear children? At 12.50. At 12.50. Okay, my paper is officially ended. I have 10 minutes. I have what? 10 minutes over here. What will I do? I will be reviewing it like this, like this QD. Okay, just like you cute guys here also, you see your cuties. So my dear children, attempt the skipped MCQs or unanswered parts. Okay, check the spellings if there are any. Ensure the diagrams are neat and labeled. Ensure basically you have not missed any questions. You have left the space to write it later on, but you have not written it. Please make sure you're writing it. So what do you do is that if you're if you're leaving some space for writing some question at the top of the page, paper, no, with pencil, write 25th question. Just mark it up, 25th question. So you know, basically you can you have to attempt this at the top when you write it separately it has become easy for you and then erase it as well otherwise that in the examiner who is checking will feel that you are cheating okay so don't do that now underline the key terms and neatly arrange the answer sheet and ensure that you have numbered it correctly so i know this might you might feel silly to correct all the questions but it is very much important these silly mistakes are the ones that caused very big troubles okay so make sure that the silly mistakes are also given equal importance so attempt skip the mcqs check the spellings ensure the diagrams underline the key terms and neatly arrange all your answers in the answer sheet now <coughs> 
अब वी हैव कैट सीरीज सो माई डी चिल्ड्रेन इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर के सेट वी हैव टू थिंग्स वन इज टेस्ट सीरीज वेर यू हैव थर्टी फाइव मॉक टेस्ट माई डी चिल्ड्रेन गो हैड एंड जस्ट गिव दैट इट विल बी रियली रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यूर प्रिपरेशन सो विद द चिल्ड्रेन दैट हैव मेट एज ऑफ नाउ दे ऑल वर टेलिंग दैट मॉक टेस्ट आर रियली रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो प्लीज मेक श्योर यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग इट यू लर्न द कंसेप्ट अलॉन्ग विद इट सो इट्स फॉर रुपीज वन फोर नाइन नाइन इफ यू इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन ऑब्वियसली गो हैड विद द परचेसिंग ऑफ इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो हैड विद क्रैश कोर्स क्रैश कोर्स इज बेसिकली वेर यू हैव टू कम टू बैंगलोर इफ यू नॉट इन बैंगलोर इट इज हॉस्टल फैसिलिटीज एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू देर विल बी डेली प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट वन ऑन वन डाउट सेशन एंड एवरीथिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी वन डेज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एनरोल यू कैन कॉल अप टू दिस नंबर इफ यू नॉट एबल टू रीच आउट प्लीज पुट डाउन एज अ कमेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल डू समथिंग अबाउट इट ओके दैट्स माई गारंटी सो यस दैट्स ऑल एंड watch out for these mistakes that is the last part of this particular video what mistakes ma'am the mistakes that are common very common okay so oh no <laughs> okay so spending too much time on mcqs stick to 25 minutes not going beyond that okay do not do that skipping questions attempt all there is no negative marking please remember that there is no negative marking even if you do not know write something in come okay but don't just leave it empty messy handwriting and diagrams not at all needed adding unnecessary details in short answers again not needed you do not know when is the time going to what say the, for example you set up 12 minutes for a question but you feel that you might need 14 minutes you get it so make sure as i said the timing that i have given it's very much valid i have given you enough ample amount of time to write the paper so write it properly my dear and stick to the timings that i have given to you okay and do not panic if the time goes off here and there please answer when you write the answer please accordingly you write the answer make sure for example you do not have time now so fine if it's a three mark a question you can complete it really fast and then go ahead with a five marker which actually needs your time over there Okay, and five marker usually come in some parts, so it becomes easy for you to score as well. So don't think that you wouldn't be able to write. Okay, and first thing, first and the foremost thing, I hope this is also done, right? Okay, I'll come to that. I'll come to that. First and the foremost thing that is there, which is whatever happens, whatever happens, exam is going to happen today itself on the day of exam, right? You have to anyway write it. So why not give you a hundred percent over there? Just think that I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to any day do it and just go ahead with it. Okay, whatever your knowledge that you have, put it down on the paper. Do not just be sad that the paper is tough or this paper is not going to be tough. It is going to be good. I am telling you that. Okay, so if you have not watched all these videos, you please go and watch it. These are really important. All one marker, two, three marker, most important five marker questions, model question, model question papers, the video, most repeated diagrams. These are like these are the important videos and also the top eighty plus questions which have uh, put from the question banks. This is also important. If you have time, go watch it. Okay, if you do not have time, it's okay. It's okay. Whatever you have studied, you have studied. Okay, go to sleep peacefully. If this video is coming at night, if this video is coming in the morning, don't not go sleep there. Okay, <laughs> you have to study. And uh, these are the things, the other timings. I told you top eighty plus questions. This would be put on fifteenth March and sixteenth March. All of it will be covered. In that, we are completing thirteen chapters. All the questions, all the important questions from the question banks as well. So these videos include questions from the previous year questions as well as model paper. But this is from the question bank that the government has given this year. So you can, maybe you can watch it if you have time. So are you ready? If you are ready, tell me, ma'am. We are ready. We are gonna do so good. I'm. I will be so 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 happy to see you all writing that. Uh, writing that. Uh, when I read your good good comments, I feel so so happy. Uh, that I could help you. Okay, so my dear children, wishing you all the best, lots of love. Take care of yourself. You are going to do really, really good. So bye, and do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Lots of love.